Hello, everybody, and welcome to Late Night Football. Welcome to another Trans Reaction Show. And uh, we're going a little bit closer to home uh, today. It's a little bit of a different video, a different, different vibe. Uh, we, we've done, uh, you know what, we've never done MLS videos in the past. Like, I don't, think, I don't remember doing any up until this month. In this one, you've done two. So, you know, we're getting kind of closer to home there, but it's, uh, it's interesting. Uh, but before we get on to that, um, I do also want to mention, right now, Neymar is trending on Twitter. And he's trending because apparently there is uh, rumors of a move to Manchester City. Now, who broke that first? I'm just saying, who broke that first? We broke it on our channel first, but they got to broke that on our channel. So I'm just saying, sometimes we get inside scoops too. And I got connections to, to ITKs. So just saying that, uh, you know, just watch out for that story because how that develops will be interesting to see. Uh, but nonetheless, coming back to, to the Trans Reaction show for today, uh, for this one at least, uh, Federico Bernadeschi has uh, got a year ago. He's almost, uh, he's, he's moving to Toronto FC. Uh, in the MLS, uh, played for Juventus last and was a free agent and is now moving to Toronto. I mean, it's a it's an interesting deal. And I think the ramifications of the deal will go beyond just Benedeschi because for some reason, uh, we, first of all, Toronto has been a really good home for Italian footballers. For some reason, Giovinco played here a little while ago, won the MLS as well with, uh, with Toronto, uh, like won the MLS Cup as well with Toronto and almost won that Mexican-American Cup thing that they have as well, got them pretty far in the CONCACAF Cup as well. So, or Champions League, or the Conquer have Champions League as well. So, he was, he was a hit at, uh, at, uh, at Toronto FC. They've got Lorenzo Insigne uh, this season. Again, his contract expired with, uh, I can't remember, was it with um, Napoli? I believe it was Napoli that it expired and he's moved to um, uh, Toronto. And now they're getting Federico Bernadeschi as well, I think. And it's interesting, there's a lot of Italian players. Go a little bit further wide in the MLS, you've also got Chiellini, who's playing, uh, of course, in the MLS this season as well, after he's left Juventus. So, um, so lot, lots of Italian players in, 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 the, in North America, a lot of players, Italian players in the MLS, but specifically a lot of players in Toronto. And the couple thing is why that is happening, like why that's happened. I think Giovinco has kind of broken that mold a little bit because when Gio, Giovinco came to Toronto, Toronto was pretty much like a backwater franchise earlier in the MLS. Uh, they were not that good. They were not really that uh, you know, successful. And Giovinco was in the prime of his career, by the way. It was, it was, a, it was a rare move because most of the time, Italian, he was an established Italian international and he moved to MLS. Which at that time was, you know, like a no-no. The most established Italian players would not do that. Uh, and then to do that in the prime of his career, and to do that while he was in the international, and then to move to Toronto, which wasn't really that big of a franchise in those days, was a massive step. Um, and he came to Toronto. He won. The, of course, I was in Toronto. We're doing a lot of uh, rebuilding of their team. He won big trophies with them. You know, medically speaking. And he's, he's a legend. He's a legend at Toronto FC. So I, I, I do believe that that has kind of uh, eased things a little bit for the for guys like Insigne, for guys like Benedetti, because I think they probably see it as uh, well, this is something that we can try because uh, the, the potential is there. You don't make good money. I think they must have got assurances as well from Mancini that, they, that their place in Italy, will, the, the Italian squads will not be affected. But Insigne is quite, uh, you know, almost, you know, he's past 30 now, so he probably doesn't have that long left anyway. Um, but I'm sure there were some insur assurances that, that yes, they'll, they'll still be considered for a national team selection. So therefore I think that they've, they've, they've made that step. And Toronto is a nice place to be, to be honest. I mean, we've got, we've got a wonderful little Italy area and we've got some good Italian restaurants. Uh, I think <laughs> also can, might have also um, you know, convinced them, but uh, no, I'm kidding. But uh, definitely, um, I think it, Toronto is a very welcoming place. And considering the, the success that Giovanco has, I think a lot of people will be excited just to see Insignia, to see Bernadeschi come in. Um, that would be something good. But Toronto FC, they do need uh, in reinforcements because quite frankly, they've had a terrible season. They're second from bottom, only above uh, Wayne Rooney is DC United now. We can say Wayne Rooney is DC United, they're only above them. But to be honest, they're only one point clear, but they have but DC do have two games in hand. So they are, they're not doing well. To be fair, I mean, it is the whole Eastern Conference, Western Conference thing, which is kind of weird, you know, for, for, for football league. I mean, it's kind of weird. I know Americans have that whole thing, but uh, whatever, uh, you know, so so that, that's a little bit weird. But uh, they, they are quite far off of the playoff places. Again, not weird, but nonetheless, they are far off of that. So I think they need reinforcements. And so definitely having two Italian internationals, two Italian European championship winners, by the way, as well, I think will be something that will help them, can only help them. Um, and I, I think that from, from that perspective, yes, I think it's, it's a good move for these guys. It's a little bit of a out of the pressure spotlight. Uh, they get to go to a place where they could possibly become legends as well, because, you know, um, again, being able to have, have success with Toronto uh, is something that's... Uh, very highly regarded by the by people here. And let's not forget as well, Toronto, I think from what Gio, Gio Winko was back when, you know, Toronto was still sort of, a, you know, I call it a backwater franchise, very really pretty much a very, a very, um, you know, uh, not a very, I, I guess not, not, not the kind of team that would win things, 
He took them there, and now you know they're kind of seen as a little bit of a bigger deal than they probably were. They're not doing that well in the last few years, of course, but they still have that you know no they have that tag of being former champions, right? And so that gives them a little bit more cachet than they probably had when Giovinco came. So that allows them now to you know for these guys as well to come into a, a diff, to sort of a different atmosphere as well. And I guess the expectations will be different as well for them. So it's it's a good move in that sense, and um, you know there's a good chance for them to to sort of. Uh, I wouldn't say take that next step, but at least enjoy something different in their careers. And that's something that I'm sure that, that they will they will enjoy. They will enjoy the atmosphere. They will enjoy, you know, the complete difference in culture. Toronto is not that different, though, to be honest. Uh, you know, it's, it's like I said, it's a very welcoming city. It's a lot of, there's a big Italian population. So they're going to enjoy all of that. All of that. They're not going to feel that far away from home, but uh, still, it's a different vibe. And um, hopefully they will enjoy it. I know what I, I, I don't think I'm going to bump into them in the streets or anything, but uh, yeah, it's good. It's good to see. Um, like I said, I wish Nooney was managing uh, the, uh, Toronto, but that's not happening. But uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's bad to have in Sydney and Bangladeshi on the side, is it? Uh, and to have them in the city. Maybe maybe we'll catch a game, glimpse of them somewhere. Maybe I might, I might just take a photo or video or something. We'll see. We'll see. I, I'm kidding. I, I've never actually bumped into any celebrity. I, I was, almost first Nico was in Toronto, by the way. A few weeks ago, a few yeah, a, few, a month or two ago, he was in Toronto. A lot of people bumped into him while he was cycling. I never bumped into him. So you know, I I, I never get these kind of things. Apparently, so there's there's a lot of other celebrities that have been in Toronto and never bumped into them. So yeah, the, 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 just the, this just doesn't happen for me, does it? But anyway, maybe we'll get lucky this time. Maybe. <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, uh, the, uh, yeah, that, that's what it is. Let me know comments. What do you think? What do you think about uh, about the move? Um, you know, if you're a Toronto fan, let us know what do you think. But if, if you are a Juventus fan or, or you know, just an Italian fan, what do you think of Bernadeschi making this move? Do you think it's a step down? Do you think it's a lateral move? Do you think it's the right move for him at this time in his career? Let me know what you think in the comments. It's always interesting to hear what, what other people have to say. So uh, please do share that. You know, to smash like, smash like for Toronto, smash like for Toronto resident. Uh, you know, smash like for Toronto FC, for Bernadeschi. Uh, you know, well, let's keep that going. And of course, do remember to subscribe to our channel on YouTube, follow us on Facebook. Uh, you know, we have a lot of content, as I said, we've done three today, by the way. And uh, we're going to have more coming tomorrow as well because things are heating up and there's going to be a lot of news to discuss. So we're going to be here with that information. Um, so yeah, if you subscribe to our channel, you get notified as soon as videos drop. So please do that. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye. -bye.